My exams are coming up, but I'm setting time aside to make this video because I feel it's important to show my respect for one of my childhood heroes. On the day I upload this video, ten years ago, a man who made many childhoods great and brought the tales of a little blue steam engine to life on television unfortunately passed away. Thomas is a tank engine who lives at a big station on the island of Sodor. David Mitton was one of the producers, writers and directors of the classic British television series Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends. It was the first show that really left an impact on me and it's what inspired me to make content. The sets and models were amazing, the music was catchy and the characters stood out and were easily distinguishable. The stories were strong and memorable and to top it off with David Mitton's directing, it's what made Thomas so fun to watch. David Mitton also worked on a series called Tugs, a series about two rival tug fleets in the 1920s. It was similar to Thomas but took the opportunity to have darker stories. You've done very well so far, Patchy, but we figure you still owe us. You're going back on your word. You said that was the last barge. The thief changed our mind, see. It's one more barge. Get it tonight or it's goodbye to him. David Jones is locked on the seabed. Zebedee was now in a terrible situation. Johnny Cuba would sink him if he didn't help him. And because of something that happened years ago between those two, he knew Captain Zero would sink him if he did. So he couldn't go and tell the captain, could he? This is getting too dangerous. <coughs> the tank's blistering badly. I'm now starting to smoke. It's gonna go any second. I've gotta get out of here. Ten cents! It's ten cents! The oil barge! I must have stayed put, sunshine! You're needed here. But he might need help! David claimed that Tugs had his soul and it really is a shame that he never got to do everything he wanted to with Tugs, as he was really passionate about it. Tugs may just be one of the best children's shows ever made. I was inspired by Tugs when I was a teenager and it has definitely made an impact on my personal projects as of now. Good night Vienna! Good night Vienna! But no matter how far away you are, know that I'm here to guide you home. In 2008, Ryan Hagen, a Thomas and Tugs fan who was in contact with David, was informed of his passing due to a heart attack on the 16th of May. At the time, I had no idea. I was only 8 years old, and it was only a few years later where I found out that he was gone. A part of me felt lost, as this man was responsible for bringing my childhood to life, and that's something that I couldn't thank him for. His heart was poured into these worlds, and I really admire his passion. He was able to create something meaningful for children and inspired them to make their own stories. I really wanted to thank him for what he had done for me. It was a crucial part of my life and I would not be this person I am today without it. Thomas had strong storytelling, but it would not be the same without the presentation David Mitten gave us. He was able to bring Sordo and Big City Port to life. Before I end this video, I just want to give the message out to the Thomas fans that we can keep these worlds alive. It doesn't matter what direction Thomas may be going in, as of now, as long as we remember the acts of those who gave us the Thomas we loved. For a show about talking trains, there are so many dedicated people in this fandom. It's honestly really impressive the lengths fans have gone with making their own projects, who do the remakes, the adaptions, creating their own stories, the model making community, music recreations or original scores. All these people in these communities put their heart and soul into these videos and I'll link some of my favourite content creators in the description. These dedicated fans, the Thomas we know, will always be around. Rest in peace David, you were an inspiration to us all.